Hey guys, it's Finn and one of my subscribers asked me if I had seen the comparisons between the next gen and the last gen versions of Black Ops 3 and as a matter of fact I have and boy are there a lot of differences. I thought I'd make this video now that there's only one day till the release of Black Ops 3 so some of you who are going to buy the last gen version would still have some time to consider. You see, the last gen versions of Black Ops 3 are missing some major stuff but whether it's a deal breaker for you or not, you'll decide. Although because of time zones there are some people that already are able to play this game so this is too late for them. But some of you haven't yet been able to play the game and perhaps some of you are getting it for Christmas so you'll still have time to consider. So what are some of the things that old gen users don't get but next gen users do actually get? So first of all there is no campaign mode in the last gen version of the game. Now even this would probably be a deal breaker to me because I'm pretty excited about the campaign mode as I've told you guys a couple of times now. Since they are revamping it with 4 player co-op and replayability and all players are customizable, it's gonna be less linear this year and I just really wanna try it out. But no one really buys Call to this for campaign anymore so this wouldn't be that bad yet. Number 2, there will be no theater mode in the last gen versions of Black Ops 3. Uh, theater mode is a pretty popular feature in the franchise, I mean you get to save the video clips and images from your game to your vault, maybe upload them to YouTube later from there and you're not able to do that anymore with last gen consoles so um, that sucks, a lot of people aren't going to like this but if you try to just play the game then watch and upload stuff then I guess this wouldn't be that bad either. Number 3 Last gen versions of Black Ops 3 will run in 30 frames per second whereas next gen versions will run in 60 frames per second and this is a noticeable difference if you played a lot of the previous call to this in 60 frames per second and then you'd be forced to dump down the 30 frames per second but then again Destiny runs in 30 frames per second and people don't seem to mind that so whether this bothers you or not it's your call. But on top of the game being 30 frames per second, the textures and the overall graphics will obviously also be inferior. So uh, I actually saw some images of the last gen version of Black Ops 3 and it does not look appealing, at least not after PS4 beta. And number 4, less DLC for last gen users, cause last gen users won't be able to buy season pass, they will obviously get less DLC than the next gen users. And this actually sounds pretty tempting <laughs> because uh, fuck DLC, that's what I say. I really care about map packs or cosmetics or microtransactions stuff, etc. I mean, just give me a new zombies map like every other month for uh, let's say 5 euros and that's enough DLC for me, I think. But if you disagree, this might also turn you away from last gen Black Ops 3. Number 5, no paint job tool. I made a video about paint job tool earlier. I mean it's a really cool tool and you can put custom paint job on your weapon and really make it look like your own. I personally would hate not having this tool in my copy of Black Ops 3. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, it's your choice. Number 6, Nuketown multiplayer map is not available for last gen users, so um, that's a thing. Number 7, last gen Black Ops 3 will also not include the giant zombies map. And this would also turn me away from last gen version because I love the zombies more. But uh, you know, last gen users will get one zombies map at least. It's the other one, I cannot remember the name right now. I think it's called Shadows of Evil. So yeah, that's at, at least there's one map for last gen users. And number 8, last gen Black Ops 3 will also not include esports features including arena mode. And I don't give a rat's ass about this, I'm not a competitive gamer, I'm as casual as a gamer can be. Uh, I don't think I ever even touched the league play modes in previous Call of Duty, so um, I don't really care. But if you're into that, then this is bad, obviously. However, although last gen users are missing these features in Black Ops 3, they have been thrown a bone to compensate for all this. First of all, last gen version of Black Ops 3 will most likely be cheaper than the next gen version. We are talking about uh, about $20 cheaper. So the game will cost about $50 most likely. At least this is what they've stated. And number two, last gen copies of Black Ops 3 will also include a bonus digital full game download for the original Call of Duty Black Ops. So apparently last gen users can download Black Ops 1 for free if they buy Black Ops 3. 
Now I don't know which version of Black Ops 1 we're talking about here, but if it includes all the zombies maps, the multiplayer and campaign, this doesn't sound like a bad deal at all. So for $50 and to my Finnish weavers, most likely for 50 euros, you'll get Black Ops 3 multiplayer, zombies and a digital copy of the first Black Ops. Sure, Black Ops 3 is 30 frames per second, it has inferior graphics, less DLC, no campaign, no league gaming, no page up to and all that I previously stated, but if you can live with that, this doesn't really sound like a bad deal. I wish I could play the first Black Ops again, but all I have is this stupid freaking PS4 that can't do shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. But seriously, that actually sounds like a fair deal, so uh, it's not all crap for last gen users. But then again, if you feel like Last Gen Black Ops 3 is missing too much or let's say you already have the first Black Ops and you feel that you're not getting much out of this deal, you might want to save that money towards buying a next gen console. But I'm just saying, with everyone stating that Last Gen Black Ops 3 is not worth buying and is a steaming pile of garbage, I felt like I had to speak about the few pros in Last Gen Black Ops 3 that everyone seemed to have forgotten about. But hey, in the end, next gen or last gen, your choice. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later.